The health of plants depends on the life in the soil. It's where the magic happens. Soil is a complex living system that ranges from tiny one-celled bacteria, fungi, and protozoa to more complex nematodes and microarthropods to visible earthworms, insects, small vertebrates, and plants. This tiny world of animals and plants is called the soil food web. These creatures decompose organic matter into food for plants and other soil dwellers. That's essential to the health of soil. It also helps glue soil particles together to create space for air and water to move and be stored. That helps make soil water efficient. Weeds like to grow in bacterially dominated soil. Weeds aren't all bad. They add organic matter that feeds soil organisms and other plants. You can reduce weeds by adding compost and applying mulch. Weeds don't like to grow in soil dominated by fungi, and compost feeds the fungi in the soil. Most of the time, we only see fungi in their fruiting form, as a mushroom. Under the ground, however, fungi extend fine filaments throughout the soil, called mycelium. These work with the plant, feeding it and protecting it from disease. Fungi also bind together soil particles, creating space that allow air in and makes room for water storage. Worms work to bring nutrients into the soil. Worms till the soil and create soil space at the same time. While they eat organic particles, they kill the pathogens that might harm plants while keeping the beneficial organisms alive. Their castings contain fertilizers, plant growth hormones, and chemicals that help plants to resist pests. Healthy soil will have worms. Check your soil by doing a worm count. Sift through the soil you took out for the drainage test. If you find less than 12 worms, you have some improvement to do. Compost, used as a soil amendment, is a perfect way to feed your soil food web. Compost has been through a natural but controlled process that kills the pathogens, keeps the beneficial microbes, and turns it into the perfect food for your soil food web. You can buy it in bags or by the yard at green waste facilities. Mix about 30% compost with the soil from your planting hole. Use it when you plant. Dig your hole about twice as wide as the pot and a little shallower than the distance from the bottom of your pot to the top of the soil in the pot. That ensures that the plant crown will be above ground level when you're finished and less susceptible to crown rot. Fill the planting hole around your plant with the mixture you've made and gently but firmly tamp the soil in place. If you're planting a native, don't use too much compost. Native plants are already well adapted to our region's lean soils. Improve the organics around plants already in the ground by adding a layer of mulch. Mulch is organic material that lays like a blanket on top of the soil. It holds in moisture. It covers above ground drip irrigation systems. It keeps the temperature of your soil about 10 degrees cooler in the summer. It helps keep weeds down. And most importantly, it decomposes and becomes food for the soil food web that feeds your plants and makes your soil more water efficient. When you mulch, cover your soil with a three inch deep blanket. Keep it a few inches away from the plant crown or trunk. Excess moisture at the base of plants can encourage disease or pests. There are lots of different mulches to choose from. Bark or wood chips are commonly used, but they decompose very slowly, and as a result, don't do much to feed the soil. Avoid these mulches. Instead, choose a mulch that imitates the forest floor with small pieces of leaves and lots of small sticks with some small pieces of wood. The industry calls this brush mulch. Another example would be chip tree trimmings from a tree service. Brush mulch allows water to pass through. It stops erosion and lets the water percolate into the soil rather than run off. And the small particles break down quickly, so you are feeding the soil food web right away. As a general rule, add mulch annually or when it gets thin. Over time, as your plants grow in, you can do it less often. Brush mulch is typically not sold in stores. You can find it at a compost facility or soil supplier. Larger loads can be delivered by truck. You'll pay a delivery fee, but if you need a lot of compost or mulch, this may be the least expensive and most efficient solution. 
In the soil food web, everything we've talked about takes place in a small area around the roots. The interactions happen in response to the chemical messages that the plant sends. When you use non-organic fertilizers, you break that synergy, leaving the plant vulnerable. It becomes dependent on receiving chemical nutrition from you rather than the supporting players of the soil food web. Resist the urge to fertilize with chemicals and let nature help instead. By taking care of the health of your soil, you'll have a powerful water efficiency tool. On top of that, you'll have happy plants too.